Texturing is a very important aspect of making good looking 3D art, but it can also be one of the most difficult things to get right. What we are going to focus on in this video is how you can use texture painting to create masks to combine textures and create a more realistic and complex result. I made this pillar to use as an example in this video, and we're just going to go ahead and go into the shading tab and create a new material. First thing I'm going to do is just get a concrete texture and apply it to the pillar. Underneath the outer part of the concrete, it would be much lighter and more granular. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in a mix shader and then duplicate my principled and just put it in the bottom socket. Now I'm going to get my other concrete texture and put it on this principled. So now that you have your two or more textures maybe, you want to go to the texture paint tab. And over here on the side, you want to tap this plus button and add base color. Make sure that the resolution is not the default, which is I think 1000. You wanna up it quite a bit. You want to change the color to black and then hit okay. And now on the color picker, make sure your color is just white. Then start painting wherever you want your second texture to go. Basically what this does is wherever is black is going to be texture one, which is our dark concrete, and whatever is white is going to be texture two, which is the light concrete on the inside. For anyone who might not know, this technique is called masking. It's used in photography, visual effects, just really anything to do with images of any kind. After you finish texture painting, you want to click save all images and then go back to the shading tab and you should automatically have a new texture or image right here which is your mask that you just painted and you want to put it in the factor of the mix and already automatically you can see that the light concrete is in the place of the white paint and the dark concrete is in the place of the black paint it already has so much more detail and you could just keep stacking multiple textures with multiple masks and now that i made another mask we have two different types of concrete on the top and bottom of the pillar but we also have our parts where debris has fallen off of the pillar this is just like a really easy way to add a lot of in my opinion necessary detail to any object or environment that you are making 